Catherine Esther Beecher was born on September 6, 1800, in East Hampton, New York, to an activist minister, Lyman Beecher, and his first wife, Roxana Foote. Lyman was a minister of the Calvinist Church, and Roxana was a, ver a very domestic housewife. Catherine was the oldest of 13 children. Two of her siblings were Harriet Beecher Stowe and and Henry Beecher. Growing up, Roxana taught her children math, reading, and literature. Catherine did, did not really like doing things around the house, but when she was 16, her mother died and she took the duties, she took over the duties, um, the domestic duties that her mom had um, at her father's house. Um, during that time, Catherine taught herself different studies and different courses, and at the age of 22, she became a teacher at a school in Connecticut. Um, two years later, she was engaged to a man named Alexam Alexander M. Fisher. Sadly, though, she never got to marry him because he was a boater and his ship wrecked off the coast of Ireland and he was killed. Um, after that, Catherine never really had any thoughts of being married. She put all her work and energy into the education of women. In 1831, she moved to the mi Midwest with her father and started to teach women how to teach schools and how important schools are out there, try to get more schools ready and prepare prepare them and stuff. Um, when she moved back to the West six years later, she retired from teaching, though she started many associations for women and just how important the domestic house life house life is and how important teaching children is. Um, she did a lot of things to get the education in the West started. Um, she taught women to um, taught women and then sent them out west to get the school started. Um, on May 9th or sorry May 12th 1878 Catherine died from sudden death. She lost consciousness and then just died. Um, some of the organizations that she did uh, uh, found were the Harford Female Seminary, which was to help teach women to become mothers and teachers. She believed that women still should be taught to be a mother even if they weren't married or were to have children, she, like she did. She never had any children or got married. Um, she taught the women uh, algebra, chemistry, history, Latin, philosophy, um, arithmetic, and definitely there's a big emphasis on religious character and morals. She was, she never, her faith, She's not really sure. She wasn't really sure about her faith, but she did have a big faith in God. Um, she also wrote, <laughs> wrote a bunch of essays which talked about the improvements of education and how we can better it. Uh, in 1841, she published a book called A treatise on domestic economy for the use of young ladies at home and at school. Um, I talked about the underestimate pri underestimated priority and the importance of women's roles in society. Back then, I guess the women were just to be home, and she also, you know, wanted to let them know that what you're doing is important. Um, she also founded the American Women Educational Association, and it was made the idea for recruiting and tra training the women for the schools in the frontier. Um, she also founded, co-founded the Board of National Popular Education with William Slade, who was um, a politician. Um, one of Catherine's famous quotes is, 
Women's great mission is to train immature, weak, and ignorant creatures to obey the laws of God, the physical, the intellectual, the social, and the moral. She did a lot for women in education, though it's not like really profound or anything. Um, it seems pointless, and like even after all she did, a lot of people in this society looked down on teaching, and now we can see that what she did helped a lot, and our educational systems are a lot better, and a lot more females are in the field, obviously, than there are males, and I think that's because that women are more nurturing and more patient and more understanding for, um, for kids, where males are more stern and stuff, but she, um, she was smart, and she was loving, and she, I, she did good changes in there, and, um, the Midwest probably would have suffered for education back then if it wasn't for her, and her needs to push women to go out there and teach, so, and that's it.